I understand that cleaning the cat's litter box is a chore, I completely get it, but I only spend about five minutes a week scooping and cleaning Jericho's litter box and he never has any issues. And the first cat litter box hack that saved my life is using a stainless steel litter box. Did you know that plastic traps bacteria even with regular washing? Most of us use plastic litter boxes, I've used them with all of the cats that I grew up with when I was a cat sitter. A lot of cats use plastic litter boxes, but plastic is an issue for multiple reasons. So it traps bacteria even with regular washing, which means that you'll never actually get it clean, which means you need to clean it more frequently, which also means that you would need to replace it frequently, at least once yearly. So this puts a strain on you when you clean it, puts a strain on your wallet because you have to buy a new one every year, and it also puts a strain on the environment because you're buying this plastic and then tossing it once a year. Whereas a stainless steel litter box might be more costly up front, but in the long term, you're saving a lot of time and money because it's easier to clean. It doesn't lodge bacteria in the material. It's a one-time purchase and you don't have to replace it. So again, it's a one-time purchase. You buy it once and that's that. The next cat litter box hack I have for you is a DIY litter genie. If you're unfamiliar with the litter genie, it's essentially a garbage bin for litter waste and it separates the top from the bottom so that it's kind of like a, a garbage chute where you just, you put the waste in and then it, there's a slider that closes so that the waste is on the bottom. But a big con is that the, the litter genie itself is made out of plastic. So again, it's going to trap bacteria. I've used many of these when I worked as a cat sitter and they stunk really bad. It is nice to have a separate garbage for your cat litter, but it's, uh, it's not that easy to clean because it's plastic, but it's, there's also a lot of parts to it. So the DIY litter genie, you can use a stainless steel mini garbage bin or a glass jar. So I actually bought a candy jar. It's like a gallon jug candy jar. And that's what I use for the DIY Litter Genie. But just make sure that the opening, the mouth of it is wide enough so that your litter scoop can fit. Because you don't want a very, very small, tiny mouth that you can't even get the clump of litter in. That kind of defeats the purpose. You would have litter everywhere. And then I use the doggy waste bags or I just reuse plastic bags like if I order food. But I have also used these recyclable plastic bags. I have tried the corn-based and plant-based bags. Unfortunately, they don't work. The clumps of pee will burn a hole through it. So you do have to use plastic, but the Litter Genie uses plastic bags anyway. The next litter box hack I have for you is to use a metal or a ceramic litter scoop. And this is for the same reasons. Again, plastic traps bacteria, which means you're never going to get it clean. You have to replace it and it's much harder to clean. Whereas the ceramic litter scoop, I've had the same one since 2017 when I adopted Jericho and it looks spotless. I clean it once a week and the litter just slides right off of it. It's very, very easy to clean. By the way, I'll put all of the links to everything that I use for Jericho's litter box area in the description below. The next litter box hack that I have is to use a ripple rug bottom only for tracking track litter. So the ripple rug is in a, a fantastic activity mat. I highly recommend it, but you can buy the top and the bottom separately. So when you buy the bottom only, I like to use this as a litter mat because it's soft on paws, it does trap the track litter and it's easy to clean. I can just throw it in the washing machine on cold, delicate cycle and then hang dry. It's also very large, it fits the stainless steel box perfectly. If that doesn't work for you, I would suggest a double layer litter mat. This is what I used before I used before I bought the Ripple Rug Bottom Only. The double layer litter mat is large and it traps track litter, but it's also very easy to clean. So the litter falls through the holes and then you just slide it out and it's easy to wipe in between. Compared to those mesh litter mats that are smaller, number one, but they're also good at trapping track litter, but they're not easy to clean. So that, that litter gets trapped in there and it's difficult to get out. And if you try to wash it in warm water and soap, it's not going to dry out completely. So there's going to be some moisture in there which can promote bacteria and mold growth. So in the long run, it's, it's again, it's never going to get 100% clean. The next litter box hack that I do is to scoop the litter box after Jericho uses it and clean it out once a week. So I scoop after Jericho uses it every single time he uses it. He pees twice a day, poops once a day. So I scoop three times a day. 
Then I also clean out the box completely once a week. And the trick here is not to fill up the entire box floor, just to put a big mound of litter in the center of the box. So instead of using the entire bag of litter, I just use about a quarter of the bag. So the same bag, even though I'm cleaning it once a week and putting new litter in, it still lasts a month. So rather than dumping the entire bag into the box and cleaning it once a month, I dump about a quarter of the bag into the box and clean it once a week. And I reshape that mound after Jericho goes. And when I've described my cleaning routine, somebody commented that it takes them 45 minutes to clean the litter box. As I mentioned in the beginning, it takes me five minutes. And you know, I know it sounds like a lot of work up front scooping multiple times a day and cleaning it once a week, but just keep in mind that the longer you let it sit, the longer it's going to take you the, to clean, the more bacteria is going to be there, the stinkier it's going to be. When I worked as a cat sitter, there was one client that left the litter box untidy to be nice about it, not to judge. You know, I'm just illustrating the story. When I got there, I had to clean out the entire litter box and there were litter clumps caked on the bottom of the litter box. And I felt like I was mining for gold, but it wasn't gold. And it took me 30 minutes the entire visit to clean the litter box. So again, the longer you let it sit, the longer it's going to take you to clean it. So I like to scoop multiple times a day and then clean it out once a week. And again, I only spend about five minutes total. And the next cat litter box hack that'll make cleaning much easier is to use unscented and naturally clumping litter. So unscented is important because the cat's nose is much stronger than ours. They're also only inches away from the litter box. So those very strong perfumey smells actually can cause stress and irritation. And naturally clumping is important because you don't want to have that, all these synthetic ingredients in it, but you also want to be able to remove the waste from the box because Cats don't want to walk around on pee pee and poopy clumpy litter. And you can check out the litter that I use in this video right over Mia, and it compares what I use to all the other litters that are on the market. Thanks for watching.